Yes, good evening. This is Wallace Gator Bradley, president of United Peace, Inc. I want to let my viewing audience know that this is the last show for this season, but I will be back. And with that, let me share with you how you can reach and stay in touch with United in Peace, Inc., The Bradley Report. The web page is the Bradley Report. Dot United Peace INC dot org. The email is L A G A T O R. The letter B is in boy. The number four, the word peace, P E A C E, at yahoo.com. And the phone number is 312 371 6914. Let me tell you that this show, even though I'm the host, it wouldn't be possible. Wouldn't have been possible without the coat, without the chairman or the chairwoman of United Peace Inc. Terry Marsh. I'm blessed that she happened to be my wife, and I want to let y'all know publicly that I appreciate her as being someone that helped produce this show or who produced this show and direct this show. We're gonna have a very powerful show this evening uh, dealing with public safety, senseless shooting and killings, the wonderful humanitarian things just happening in the midst of all that by uh, Brother Willie Wilson and the fact that he's helping, in, he's helping individuals who probably end up on the tax roll that may be Sold because they couldn't, they probably may be sold because they couldn't pay their taxes. And the fact of what's happening in Washington, D.C., it looks like all roads are leading to a possible impeachment of the president because a lot of people feel that the things that he's doing or has done with the Russians, people are now screaming about treason. It ain't my opinion, it's what I'm reading and what I'm seeing on the news. So with that being said, one of the things that's grabbing all our attention here in the city of Chicago is the seven homicides that had happened in Chicago where four people got killed uh, in a restaurant, two in a restaurant, and two other guys ran out of the restaurant and they found them dead in parking lots, maybe a block from the restaurant. The uh, homicide of a young pregnant mother where someone killed her in her house and two other individuals were killed all within 12 hours apart within the same neighborhood. And like I told you, uh, Flynn, that used to be the National Security Advisor for President, is now talking about he wants to get immunity to say everything that has happened with the President. I see I got a caller. Caller, could you please state your opinion? State your name, because your opinion matters on this show and is greatly sure. respected. All right, Gator, this is Ray. I call most every week. Yes, sir. And the thing, that, the thing about your show is that you usually don't go either way. You stay in the middle and, and give your opinion, you know, right, the right way. But you just said that they're going to impeach the president, but you didn't say it. The papers said it. Right. Now, they, they don't have a damn thing on the president right now. Okay, no well, illusion, no yeah, I, 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 I'll... And, and, and yet you're on TV. Okay, talking. okay, okay. Hey, uh, 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 brother, can, can, can I ask you one question? Please, can I ask you one question? Because uh, we, I appreciate your opinion. And you say that they don't have anything on the president. Uh, have you been watching... The House investigation and the Senate investigation is happening now? Of course. I, I watch all of that. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Hey, I, 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 I appreciate. I just wanted to know that you were you doing that. You know, I got a lot to say in a short time to say. It. I appreciate your opinion, and hopefully, I'll thank you. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm with you. I, hey, I got. Hey, 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 man. Before you go, because I appreciate you calling every time you call. I have one thing to say. If it came out that the president and the Russians were working together, how would you feel about the president? Do you think he should remain the president? No. Thank you. No. I did. Yeah. No. Right. Okay. Right. Thanks. Else Thanks, brother. I, pre I appreciate you. you. Okay. All right. Bye -bye. I give honor to that brother that just called because since I've had this show, I've learned that everyone's opinions must be respected. And since I have adapted that within my everyday life, I have less stress from arguing with people. So, my brother, I'll be back again in May. And you got my number, 312-371-6914. And sometimes... Give a brother a call because I like to stay in touch with you. Okay. Caller, could you please uh, state your opinion? Yeah. State it's your name. James. Hey, brother James. Okay. Now, when well, you said, uh, uh, they don't got nothing on Rob, uh, the president. Oh, yeah. Okay. Guess who got something on the president and Rob Manuel? Okay. You know God, right? Sure do. Now, he got something on the president. Hey, Robert Emanuel. And then, uh, Robert Emanuel, he got everything about the media, and the media, and then Robert Emanuel needs to step down, and the president needs to step down, because they, they ain't doing nothing, and more violent. And then, God is in control. Now, and then, every time when they get in front of the media, like Channel 2, Channel 5, Channel 7, Channel 9, 32, they talk about they're going to do this, and some of the armies, they, they ain't doing nothing, they, they ain't doing nothing, but they, they uh, want that money. And uh, they got that Andre home. And uh, he just wants the money too. And, I, and then he always come out telling police. Then he always tell, tell people trying to come into police. Okay. When the police do something, I don't hear him saying about about that. And then, and, and then they always talk about gang related. What about police related? And then people got shot on the uh, on the on the drug got shot. I think that was police be behind that. Right. You know. You know, brother James. Uh, uh, brother James. Brother James. Yeah. Brother James. Hey, I got. I got. I got a short time. A short show. Okay. I got a lot to do. I, I appreciate okay. your opinion. And, hey, as always, I agree with you. You know, it, it takes all of us. You, you follow what I'm saying? And, and, and that's what I love about this show. And I'll be looking forward to your call all the time, man. Okay. Because okay. you're right. Y you're right. And uh, I, I appreciate you. Uh -huh. And you're 100% correct, brother. Okay. Okay. As I was stating... And what Brother James was talking about, and the caller before James, the the House Senate, the House Committee Chairman, Intelligence Committee Chairman, it has been found out that he's more concerned in protecting the president than he is in finding out the truth and the fact that the president and the president's people before he became the president and after he put certain people within his administration, including uh, Flynn, were working with the Russians. And Putin's people and Trump's people were working together and they circumvented the 2016 elections that we just had, presidential election, congressional election, senatorial election, just the elections. Well, the investigator, Devin Nunes, he's being investigated now. People are now investigating him. And Flynn, who was the national security advisor that President Trump had to fire or ask for his resignation, resignation is now begging to come forth with what he knows as long as he get immunity. And in 2016, I saw an old clipping where 
Mr. Flynn once said that anyone who seeks immunity will only do that because he knows that a crime has been committed. He's willing to tell everything about the connection from the Russians and the con they found out that he was an agent for a foreign government, I believe it was Turkey. Now the Senate committee, investigative committee for the intelligence community is talking about investigating the president's son-in-law because of the Russians that he was dealing with that was close to Putin. It kind of seems from what I'm reading and what I'm saying that it looks like President Putin must have gave Trump and his people a list of people to put in place. And this country is finding out that's happening and what's wrong. And they go going from screaming for possible impeachment and asking the president to resign. And just some people just scream. I'm talking about elected officials are screaming treason. Caller, could you please state your name, voice your opinion. On this issue, on the senseless violence that's happening within our community, how you feel about the seven people getting shot? I know a lot of people have been shot. State your name and state your opinion, please. Yeah, this is Rashad, but uh, I called to tell you I don't have an opinion, but I just saw on Channel 7 News that the four men who was killed yesterday uh, may have been on the list that you talk about, but they did have criminal records, all four of them, and they were in gangs. Right. Like songs, I think. Wow. You know, you know, brother, I'm glad you called in because the list that you're speaking of, I believe, and, and I'm asking you and the viewing audience to call your alderman whichever ward you may live in, and ask them to demand that the mayor have a briefing and have the superintendent to release the names of those individuals on that list based off of the zip code that they may live in so that the people in the community can be informed of knowing who's on that list, not saying that they criminals, but the list says that those individuals based on data that they either got locked up with a pistol, may have shot someone and got out, so that's why they say they may shoot someone or they may end up getting shot. And that's why the superintendent let it be known that these individuals were on that list. He's been saying that from shooting, from shooting, from shooting. Thank you for calling in, young brother. I appreciate you, man. And hey, if you ever try to reach United Peace, Inc., this is my number, man. 312-371-6914. My webpage is the Bradley Report. Dot United in Peace, I-N-C dot O-R-G. My email is L A. G-A-T-O-R, the letter B as in boy, the number four, the word peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, at yahoo.com. And my organization is United Peace, Inc., and I'm Wallace Gator Bradley. And I appreciate you calling, young brother, because your opinion counts, man. You know, when the brother made a statement from what he saw on the news, the information that's happening, it's showing where the community is getting involved because people are now have more fear of God because they see that this is an evil thing that's happening within our city. And one of the things I want to let people know the individuals do get caught. The individual 
It was four individuals that got killed in a household over on the far south side. I think it was on 105th. And we found out that the individual who was responsible for doing that killing has been apprehended. So know that they're now getting caught and apprehended because the community is because the community is working with law enforcement and letting it be known that they're fed up with the violence that's happening within their community. So I want to tell everybody that keep your faith in God, keep your fear in God. And we all have to work together. It takes all of us. And young brothers, they, they know who you are and they're coming at you. I'm telling you now, stop doing what you're doing. And don't think they don't know that you're doing it. You know what I mean? And case in point, these young brothers, you probably saw this on the news as well. They were on a video in Harvey. And the Harvey police ended up arresting these young brothers. It was on there with all these guns and they were selling drugs. And one guy was even on house arrest. While he was selling drugs, while he was selling the drugs, and he showed that he was on house arrest, and he go and he bring this big gun out, man, they, I mean, they, man, they had guns. And if you saw the video, you know what I'm talking about. The fact of the matter is this is what I'm saying. They are now paying attention to those videos. Okay, and they're going at the individuals that's on them videos because they came in and got this guy, I think three of those young guys, four o'clock in the morning. They got drugs, they got guns, and every young brother that was on that video, you can rest assured that they're going to come and arrest you, especially the young brothers that said that they had just got out on a gun case and you back around with another gun. They're coming to get you. Uh, I would I would tell you to go and get your lawyer and turn yourself in because the feds may end up taking that case. Um, Call him. Uh, yes, Gator, this is Steve. Listen, that yes, that part you just showed about the people that was in the newspaper. Social media is one of the worst things in the world, but you know what? They don't care. <laughs> they you know. don't care. They go and do what they want to do and then come right back and show it. Now, do that sound like somebody that's um, thinking right, but you that's know. what they do now. You know, brother. They just don't care. Hey, brother Steve, I appreciate you for, for your opinion, and you're right. But you know what I look at it as? as? I look at it as God's vengeance that got them doing that. So that, because vengeance belongs to him. So that the authorities can go and apprehend them individuals. Put them in the system. So they can get a little closer to God. Because I know that when you locked up, you start praying to God. You know what I mean? And yep. I want to give God his glory. You, you follow what I'm saying? How they hit young people. They know how to say, oh, hey, Lord, and mama. Let hey, me get out there. So hey, 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 man, hey, brother. At this, at, this, at this point, when the individual grabbed that gun, you can't see him no longer as a child. That's right. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, I thank you for calling, brother. Hey, one of the things I want to say to my brother James, Andrew Holmes has lost Two family members to sense this violence. And he's been coming out there on point for a lot of families that have lost loved ones to sense this violence. Putting himself out there on the line. I've been out there with him a couple of times. And he's telling individuals, 
we got to see this thing as all these children with these guns as being a part of our total family. We can start, <coughs> excuse me, by telling our family members that since the shootings and killings, raping of women and children, disrespect and the robbing of elders are no longer tolerated. And I stand with Andrew Holmes. I pray with him. I pray for him. He do the same thing for me. And all of us need to stand up and do what we can to do all that we know to help turn the tide against this senseless violence. Okay, caller, come to me. I'm listening to you. Yes, good evening, and thank you for your statement, and I want to commend you, and I am a female, but I want to say to you, and I'm a parent, it's not just the males. We're going after the females, too, because they playing a role in this crazy, idiotic mess. And you know, I, you know what? Uh, sister, could you state your name? <laughs> okay, hey, hey, if you don't, I want to say this. Every black woman I see, after I've seen that movie Hidden Figures, I want to say, Hidden Figure, thank you for calling because you're right on point, and I'm glad my listening audience heard that a woman made that statement because a lot of you sisters know that to be the truth because there's a lot of sisters that's carrying them guns that's doing a lot of shooting as well. Uh, Caller, could you state your name and your opinion? Wallace. Hey, Wallace, this is Pat. How are you? Hey, Pat. How you feeling? I'm good. I just wanted to make a comment about the um, the social media and <clears throat> the young people getting on social media with showing the guns, the drugs, and things of that nature. What they also have to understand is this kind of activity can take can get your homes taken away from you. That's right. Because after they start raiding your homes, they're going to start proceedings to take your home. That's right. If you have Section 8, they're going to take that from you. So people need to be very careful and very mindful of what they allow to take place in their homes. This is where you lay your head. Don't let another person come in there and take from you what you're trying to get because they're going to come after you. They're going to take your home from yeah. you. They're going to take your Section 8 from you. Then you have nothing. That's right. And they ain't going to care that you got little babies in that house. They, they not because they, you didn't care. Right. Thank you, Pat. Why should they care if you didn't care? You're right. Thank you. I thank you for your opinion. And that lead me into this piece that I was talking about, Brother Willie Wilson, and what he's doing to help the families who homes are, uh, for some reason, they didn't have the money to pay their taxes, okay? And they their homes end up where their taxes can be brought by scandalous predators that would buy their property based on the taxes, okay? Willie Wilson has given $150,000 to a fund to help the individuals to be able to buy back their property or to pay the taxes that they own on their property. And then he told them that they don't owe him anything. To Willie, I say to God be the glory for you. Okay, and... There's, there's a meeting tomorrow morning at Cannon Community Church located at 1701 West Garfield Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, uh, at 10 a.m. Again, the meeting dealing with your taxes, try to get your taxes Pay your taxes to get your property. It's coming up, and I'm going to have to wrap it up, so I'm going to get his address one more time. It's going to be at Cannon Community Church, located at 1701 West Garfield Boulevard, Boulevard in Chicago, Illinois, at 10 a.m. I'll see you there. Probably commit, Cook County Commissioner uh, Richard Boykin and uh, Commissioner Robert Steele, and I'll be there as well. 
I got to wrap it up, but I want to say to God be the glory and thank you.